Hi everyone and welcome along to this week's Quick Fix. Today we're going to do the next in our series of uh, star signs, we're going to do Leo. Now we've done quite a lot of these already so the good thing is is you can look back through our playlist of watercolour star signs to get all the tips and techniques and the different colour coordinations or combinations I use. But today I've done a wash, here's one I've prepared earlier, um, with Payne's Grey and Imperial Purple, just those two colours in a wash. And I am now going to draw the Leo constellation. So it's a lion, which is understandable. And as I always say, I just went online and found a picture reference of the constellation and I'm drawing each line and now I'm going to use some metallic watercolour. This is the Fine Tech palette I'm using one of their gold tones. Um, episode notes below have all the details and a link to where you can buy these and I like to paint my stars in dots and you do find the constellations will tell you the the sort of differing sizes of the stars as well um, so I like to do my dots in slightly differing sizes as well some weeks I paint the dots first sometimes I paint the lines first today I'm in a dots first mood so we'll get these all painted in and then the good news is, is we can draw over the pencil lines with our rigger brush and so we won't see any pencil but as I often say you know, as we've drawn the pencil over the top of the watercolour we'll definitely be able to rub out pencil if need be and then a nice big one at the bottom here Metallic watercolour is just such a fantastic um, addition to painting in watercolour. Now we've got our rigger brush here and it's important that the paint has a nice sort of thick quality to it so it will go on nicely in one fell swoop. So I'm just going to paint in all the lines between each one. I mean, if you wanted, you could use like gel pens um, if you were worried about controlling the lines or if you wanted really, really fine lines. I quite like the hand painted sort of slightly naive quality of doing it with a brush. Um, but yeah, and, and you could just do the watercolour wash to begin with and then draw over the top of it with gel pens or metallic pens, whatever you fancied. Or if you're really, really fancy, you could use a calligraphy pen. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so that's looking really nice. And also what's lovely is when metallic watercolour dries, it goes even shinier. And then down here at the bottom, I have got uh, I did two parallel lines in pencil and then I'm just going to write the word Leo. So just by firstly getting those uprights and then an E, you can see the L there and then just sketching out a circle which you can then paint in. And I'm using my four tenths brush and I hold the brush quite vertically aloft to do these circles which allows me to get that nice sort of thicker line on the downward stroke and thin it out a bit at top and bottom. And you can just thicken it as you wish. I like doing a little serif flourishes on these letters and um, again this will make a really good birthday card or or a little gift in itself it's the nice thing people I mean I know there are lots of exciting things to buy out there in the world but 
honestly, everybody prefers a little bit of thought, a little bit of time given to a present. So why not paint them something? And there we go. So we just need to wait for that to dry. Then we can rub out the pencil and that will be done. <laughs> 